What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and work on this full face glam right over here. I will be including some of my new products that I haven't tried at all. And with that said, definitely give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't done so. And other than that, let's get right on to the video. you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and work on creating this look right over here which is a very simple look so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how I do it I actually already have my eyes prepped and set with the translucent powder and I also have my highlight happening the first thing I'll be doing today is actually taking a little bit more of the eyeshadow base which today I again used my NYX cosmetics eyeshadow base in skin tone I'm just gonna go and apply that along my lash line you guys because that is where I want the most pigment happening Really didn't want to do a cut crease, but I still wanted that depth and pigment. And I will be taking this shade right over here from Crown Brushes Palette. This one right here is CP08. I'm gonna apply that, and that is a very beautiful color, by the way, is why I picked this shade. And I'm gonna slowly take that towards the crease. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend the outer edges. This is Androgyny Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm going to take this shade right over here, which is called Charm. Start working that into the crease. Pack some more color on. That's pretty much how I created it, just going back and forth with these two shades and have that depth into the crease at the same time instead of using another warm color that I always go for. This is what I did today, just these two shades right over here and then blended them. For this sparkle, you guys, I thought this would be perfect time to use my Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. I went ahead and picked the shade right over here called Element, which is a very pretty shade. And I'm going to go and take the other side of this brush using Fix Plus. And I'm going to go and apply that right into the center of the lid. Lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right over here called Fetish. We'll also be taking whatever's left over eyeshadow base on my brush onto my lower lash line just so I can get again the most pigment. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a clean brush to do that. I'm gonna stretch my skin just so I can get very close to it, but I really want to keep this dark and intense. Okay, going back with Charm, just blending this out. Going back with the Fetish, I'm just going to go and intensify it if you think you lost the intensity of it. With the Flat Definer shade, I'm going to go and take this shade right over here called Dominatrix along my lower lash line. So the color choices I'm going with, I am doing my eyes first. For the waterline, I'm going to go ahead and take Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their cream color in honey. Apply some mascara. I am using today, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. For the skincare today, I'm going to go ahead and take, this is the First Aid Beauty Intense Hydration Cream. This it go. Try out Maybelline Master Prime. This is the Blur and Illuminate with SPF 30 primer. I'm gonna go ahead and try this for the first time and see how I like it. It looks like that. It I can see kind of like a pink glow in it, and it's more like a moisturizing. It reminds me of uh, the Amazing Cosmetics primer. It's definitely moisturizing, you guys, and I like that. And it also feels very smooth, so it's definitely going to blur the pores out as well. 
you guys today is not a makeup day like this is like the third time I try to look I have a lot on my head and I'm trying my best to get it all out but I don't think so till I have a closure to my issues or things that I have in my head it's gonna happen I mean so I'll just I'll just stay positive as much as I can and just think for the best I'm really liking this glow. Foundation, I thought I'll give a drugstore foundation a chance today. Today I'm taking L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and the shade I have here is Natural Beige. And we forgot to correct today, didn't we? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that in just a minute. In my foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and take my amazing cosmetics concealer corrector and just apply that and my clean beauty blender. It is just stained, you guys, so I will stick to black one next time. For the highlight today, I'm going to go ahead and take Born This Way Too Faced Foundation. For the highlight, I'm going to go ahead and take Born This Way Too Faced Concealer. The shade I have here is Medium Nude. I'm going to leave my concealer in place. Just kind of let it dry a little bit because that's when it's going to give me that full coverage. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and take my contour stick by Wet n Wild Wears Walnut and just going to contour real quick. It's definitely my primer that's kind of crumbling, so I'm not liking that part. Let's see how long is it actually going to last for me, though. I'm going to start with my jawline first. Just at the end, I'm going to go ahead and take Palladio Rice Powder. Cosmetics. This is a mineralized skin finish powder in dark. It's gonna go ahead and take onto a stippling brush. For the bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and try Essence Cosmetics Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. The shade I have here is number two, Sunny. I kind of know that this bronzer is not gonna do anything for me, but I really want to still see that. So I want to see that it's not doing anything. For the contour, I'm going to go ahead and take Clay Play Face Shaping Palette by Tarte Cosmetics. I'm going to go ahead and take all three shades from this palette and contour. Under eyes, I'm going to go ahead and take Becca Cosmetics. This is the Golden Hour Soft Light Blurring Powder. I'm just going to take a little bit of that onto this e.l.f. Cosmetics brush. I'm going to go ahead and just swirl the brush onto the lid, tap off the excess and apply. For the blush, I'm going to go ahead and take MAC Cosmetics Blush in Gingerly. For the lips, I have this new lippy from Crown Brushes. This one right here is Pierce Theater Long Lasting Matte Lip Stain. The shade I have here is called Bronze Metal. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go ahead and take Milk Makeup. This is their Holographic Powder Quad. I will be taking this shade right over here, which is kind of sort of what we've got going on onto our lid. I'm going to go ahead and take that with a damp brush. This one is from Cargo Cosmetics. Really loving this inner corner highlight. It's really bringing this look together. And I'm going to go ahead and set my face one more time, you guys. This right here is Makeup Revolution Highlight. This is their Shimmer Brick Radiant. Just gonna take that onto this brush. I seem to be dropping everything and I don't wanna get, get up and get it. There we go. So the reason why I applied the Makeup Revolution Highlight on, uh, under this because I wanted that Shazamness and this is very subtle. I wanted that brightness, which this highlight wouldn't give me that. So there we go. Ooh, this highlight is so stunning. 
Alright you guys, so this right here is the finished look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I really did have a hard time creating today's look, you guys. Like I said, I do have a lot on my mind and I am really trying to stay positive as much as I can, trying to distract myself. I'm looking the other way so I do not see the negative coming towards me at all. But anyhow, one of those days, you guys, but I love doing this is why I was really, really like stubborn about it. Like I have to do this. That's kind of pretty much what I had in my head and finally came through the third time the charm I guess you can say so hopefully you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you did as well and also subscribe to your right if you haven't done so and definitely give me a follow on Instagram you guys that is where the most of the action happens other than just the video upload over here I take lots and lots of pictures the close-ups and stuff like that uh, they will be on Instagram screen name makeup they'll say definitely give me a follow you guys and other than that I love you guys and I'll definitely see you next time bye bye